Mr. Short Hitter here. I'm gonna try to complete my bag over the next week or two. I hope you guys got to see the what's in the bag. There was two areas that I was a little unsure of. One was whether I was gonna keep the RTX wedges or the CBX wedges, which have the wider sole, a little bit more forgiving. And the other, I was a little unsure about that low spin driver. The driver change is on the way. I'll show you guys the results of that. But first, I'm gonna go into the wedges. So today, all I'm looking at is the most lofted wedge, which is the 58 degree wedge. This is the one wedge that I did not change. So I still have my Zipcor RTX and I'm gonna put that up against the CBX. 58 degree, I'm gonna hit some shots in different locations and see how each of these wedges play out. So first I'm just gonna hit a basic little pitch shot, fairway lie, 58 degrees. And I'll try a couple From this lie, the, the fairway is rolling, going with me. So, gives a little more margin for error. So it shouldn't be any problem for either of these wedges from a basic fairway lie. RTX feels pretty good. All of those shots are within five or six feet of the hole. Let's try a few with the CBX. That one flew lower. Thought it was gonna check, but it actually rolled out. That one flew lower also, a lot lower. It's kind of strange. My first thought of this 58 degree would be, it would be tough to keep the shot lower with this wide sole, but it's actually flying lower without me even trying. From that lie, I almost want to give it to the RTX, but each each of those balls perform equally well. So I'm, I'm going to give that a tie from there. Okay, guys, so some of these shots here, this is kind of where you would think the CBX would shine. I'm going to hit just some off of just a bare muddy lie. I kind of got grass in the backswing there too. And I'm just going to hit a normal shot. Okay, so that one we caught, caught behind it. And we wouldn't be happy with that at all. Pretty good, maybe up there 10 feet or so. That ball spun to the right, I didn't see that. It's a little short. I wanna hit Pretty good, but that's about 10 feet short too. All right, so I'll hit some with the CBX now. A little better strike. That struck really well. I don't know if that wide sole on this shot looks like it might be kind of helping me, giving me a little relief on this little tight shot here. That struck really well. So off this mud bear lie, I'm definitely giving it to the CBX there. So CBX is up one. All right, guys, so now we're, we're in kind of some thick rough here maybe 20, 25 yards from the pin. And this is a shot where I might open it up just a little bit. So I'll just play it the way I normally would play it, depending upon the lie. Each shot is gonna have a different lie in this scenario. So this lie, the grass is, is sitting behind the ball, sitting up pretty good. So I'm gonna kind of open it up and go under this one and hit it kind of like a bunker shot. This is with the, the RTX. Okay, that's about not as much grass behind the ball, so I can play this 
just a normal shot. Not bad. There was a little give. I hit behind it a little bit, but it still kind of got through there pretty good. So another one, decent lie here. Really good strike, almost went in there. See if we can get one, one with the RTX that's a little bit down. CBX, sitting a little grass behind it. We'll open it up a little bit, go behind it. Got through that grass pretty easily. Drop this one. Okay, that ball is really sitting down. This would be a real challenge. Not really sure about that one. I hit it, did hit behind it, didn't catch it perfectly. It's about 15 feet short of the hole. I'm going to drop in some heavier rough here. That ball is coming out great, guys. Look at that. Almost made that one. I think I'm going to give the point to the CBX here. Sometimes you actually get a good lie in the rough. You can get an opportunity to, to kind of hit like a little, little flop shot. I really wouldn't have to flop it from here, but we're going to try to hit it a little bit higher. We'll start out with the RTX. do the same thing with the CBX. All right, that one kind of shot out to the right on us. We're gonna give that point to the RTX. 50 yards, a couple from the fairway, a couple from the rough. Start with the RTX. That hit, that was not struck very well. With the CBX. All right, we'll do the CBX just from the first cut here. A little short, but came out pretty easily. I can even feel that forgiveness in that shot because that was not really struck perfectly. Let's go with the RTX. Test five was a tie. So the CBX and the RTX both get one half point and test six was low shots. From the fairway, the CBX was a lot easier to keep low, really due to the fact that the CBX is a lot harder to hit high. All right, guys, so final test here. I'm 65 yards out. I've got the RTX first, and we're going to hit the number one balls with the RTX. 65 yards, which is a pretty full 58-degree wedge for me. And hit two from the fairway and two from the first cut of rough with each club. That one did not feel good. That was gonna be short. First one I hit pretty well. So I hit two from the rough here. Pulled that one. So now let's try the CBX. See what we get out of the fairway and out of the rough with this club.
All right, guys, let's get up there and see where they are. Worst struck ball out of the bunch. This is with the RTX. It's another RTX. So we've got two RTX that are short of the pin that was, again, 65 yards. Imagine in this best shot here is probably RTX also. Nope. Actually, this is a CBX. This is an RTX here. So the CBX pin high to the right. This ball here is another RTX, CBX, and CBX. I hope you enjoyed the video. Tipping point in this test was the last test. I'm not sure if it was the forgiveness of the CBX, but the dispersion between the best shots and the worst shots were a lot tighter with the CBX wedge. I'm not sure of the totals. I'll put them on the screen, but I'm pretty sure with the 58 degree wedge, I will be playing the CBX. I'll also test the 54 degree wedge and the 50 degree wedge and see which one of those I'll put in the bag. It's possible that I'll have a mixed bag of wedges. If there's something interesting about the test or surprising, leave that down in the comment section. If you think I missed something in the testing that I should put in the next set of testing, also leave that down in the comment section. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, Mr. Shore Hitter, out. Five holes to go, just play 13. Need to palm away in, gotta hit more greens. My game's obscene now. Hooks